What's going on gardeners? It's Jacob out here in the Blue Lake Natural Discovery Garden. It is a gorgeous spring day in the garden. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining. I think today is an excellent day to show you all some of my favorite native plants that are growing in this garden. And who knows, along the way, you might find one or two that you'd like to incorporate in your yard. All right, so I had to bring you all up super close so you could check out this gorgeous native plant community that we've go got going on here in the rain garden. The first thing that's probably capturing your attention is the Henderson's Shooting Star. And while well, true to its name, it's got these flowers, delicate, unique, purple, pink flowers that look like shooting stars. But if you take a closer look, you can see that there's tons of other native plants around here. This is uh, a common camas going to shoot up uh, some flowers in the next couple weeks here if you check out we've got we've got some coastal strawberry excellent native ground cover taking up tons of space but providing lots of um, pollen and nectar for uh, hummingbirds and other pollinators this is monkey flower this is going to get a little bit taller I'm just so excited to see that Next featured native plant community, we've got this western trillium here. Gorgeous white flowers. Some pink ones too, pretty cool. I've never seen so many flowers on a trillium before. This is doing really awesome. Over here, we've got some sword fern. Always reliable, really versatile. You can see the trunks of this vine maple. Really excellent native maple species. Over there we've got some fringe cup doing really well, about to flower, sending up its shoots right there. And in the backdrop, right behind it, we've got some red flowering currants that is finally flowering. We've got some really cool options for shade here. That one with the pink flowers, Pacific Bleeding Heart, spreads by the rhizome, pretty hardy. Cool pink flowers shaped like bells. Got this ball Solomon seal popping up here, coming out of dormancy. That little fuzz ball and the leaf attached to it, Pacific water leaf. It's got these edible stems, tastes kind of like spinach and celery, really interesting. Over here, some licorice fern, so called because the leaves taste like licorice. Last but not least, some woodland sorrel, also edible leaf underneath this red twig dogwood. And these plants are not fussy. They don't require any fertilizers or pesticides to baby them and keep them alive. That's because these plants are adapted to the local weather and wildlife of this region. So given the right soil conditions and the right light conditions, these plants are bound to thrive. That's it for today's video, gardeners. Thank you for joining me. Love having you all along. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned something. I hope that maybe you found one or two plants that you'd like to incorporate in your own yard. So until next time, this is Jacob at the Natural Gardening Team reminding you to garden more with fewer chemicals.